All right, I got this uh, audio book here. It's called Secrets of the Woods. I'm not sure who it's by, but it was on the uh, Viver Box or Liver Box uh, audio recording. And I found this little awesome tidbit nugget right here uh, on the Mandela Effect, Biblical Mandela Effect. Let's give it a little listen. Morris, but one thing troubled me. The little Tukis, who knew no fear, but tried to make a nest in the sleeve of my flannel shirt. His simple confidence touched me more than the curious ways of all the other mice. Every day he came and took his crumbs, not from the common table, but from my hand, evidently enjoying its warmth while he ate and always getting the choicest morsels. But I knew that he would be the first one caught by the owl after I left. For it is fear only that saves the wild things. Occasionally, one finds animals of various kinds in which the instinct of fear is lacking. A frog, a young partridge, a moose calf, and wonders what golden age that knew no fear, or what glorious vision of Isaiah in which lion and lamb lie down together is here set forth. I have even seen a young black duck whose natural disposition is wild as the wilderness itself, that had profited nothing by his mother's alarms and her constant lessons in hiding, but came bobbing up to my canoe along the sedges of a wilderness lake, while his brethren crouched invisible in their coverts of bending brushes, and his mother flapped wildly off, splashing and quacking and trailing a wing to draw me away from the little ones. Such an one is generally abandoned by its mother, or else is the first to fall in the battle with the strong before she gives him up as hopeless.